guys, it's your girl, Hey Paris here. So I asked you guys yesterday in yesterday's little brief video on the fact that I'm doing secret story times over on you now. If you didn't know, now you know. Go check out that video and then come back because I got a lot to say over there, okay? But I asked you guys in that video what story time you wanted to hear today and it was basically almost a tie. I think like three more people said random story time other than wedding story time. So I'm doing the random story time. This is a story time that I told you guys in that video I wanted to tell you before it got stale in my mind. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's stupid. This, I'm just gonna make it very clear to y'all right now. It's stupid. What I'm about to tell you is really dumb. It's stupid. But before I proceed with today's story, let me save you guys some coins on cable with Philo. I've talked about Philo before. I'm gonna talk about it again because Philo is the new thing, okay? Cable what? Cable who? We don't do cable bills. We on Philo. And let me explain to you why and what Philo is. Philo is an app where you can watch your favorite shows on your phone, on your laptop, on your tablet, on your computer, on your TV screen. You can watch it with Roku, Apple TV, Android TV. Any device you can think of, it probably works with Philo. Philo has your favorite channels like BET, HGTV, The Food Network, Comedy Central, A&E, which means you get to watch all of your favorite shows like Love and Hip Hop, Property Brothers, Walking Dead, Teen Mom, and currently my favorite show right now, Black Ink Crew. Y'all watching Black Ink Crew? Cause I am and I'm in it, like for real, for real. Philo also has shows for the cute babies out there. You got SpongeBob, Peppa Pig, you name it, they got it. And the best part about it is you can watch Philo absolutely anywhere on a walk, in the bathroom, in your bedroom, uh, at a restaurant, it don't matter because you can watch Philo on absolutely any device, including your phone. And where your phone goes, Philo goes. So you can watch Philo on the go. And if you don't want to watch Philo on the go, you can always record shows and watch them later. Hello. And the best part about it is you're saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars on your cable bill if you switch to Philo. You'll get over 58 channels for only $20 a month. Where can you go wrong? Where? And if you click the link in the description box down below, you can try Philo for free for seven days. And I'm gonna get you guys 30% off in your first month, <laughs> okay? So if you're interested, make sure you click the link down below for a free seven day trial with Philo and 30% off of your first month's bill. I got you. And thank you so much, Philo, for sponsoring today's story time. So as I was saying, the story is so stupid, it's so dumb, but I have to tell you guys because of low key, it's the funniest, dumbest shit that's happened to me in a while. All right, so boom, it's summertime, right? So you know, with summertime, fine or whatever, hot girl summer or whatever, hot wife summer, I should say, or whatever. So, you know, I'm going out, partying or whatever, but I guess because I'm growing up, I feel like I'm an adult now or whatever, I'm not really into clubs like I used to be because people be getting shot in clubs, they be getting stabbed in clubs, and ain't nobody got time for that. It's upsetting me and my homegirl. Like, what are you talking about? Don't nobody got time for people to be getting shot and stabbed. Like, can we just love one another, party, drink, do what we do, go home and go to sleep? Like, why are we out here killing people for what? It's unnecessary and inconveniencing me and my homegirls. Okay? Stop. So, I'm not really big into clubs anymore because I've been to way too many clubs where altercations happen, where I have to run for my life because there's gunshots outside the club where people are getting stabbed right in front of me. Like, I can't do that. I can't be there. I don't want to be there. My life is too precious. I love my mother and I don't want to see her crying if I happen to get hit by a bullet by accident that wasn't meant for me. So, I'm not really into the clubs like that. I'll go every now and then, but I'm more into day parties. For the summertime right now, I'm into day parties. Party. So day parties are basically clubs, but in the daytime, you know what I'm saying? So recently I've been going to a lot of these day parties and you know, they're really, really fun. You get to actually see people's faces because you know, in the clubs, it's dark. You don't know who you're talking to. It's not like I'm talking to anybody and nothing like that, but I'd be watching from afar somebody talking to someone else. I'm like, you don't even know what she looks like, bitch. But that's beyond the point. Day parties are just lit. Like you just see everyone's face, you know, who's there, you're having fun. You, you drunk still, and you can get drunk off of mimosas. I don't know if y'all know, but mimosas is not my favorite drink of all time. It is absolutely delectable, especially when it's made with fresh, real orange juice. Listen. All right, so boom, I had this day party, okay? And I'm with my girls, I'm with my friends or whatever. So we had a day party or whatever, we drinking, we drinking our mimosas, looking all cute or whatever, and this girl came, and honestly, I should have known something was up when she came to me and told me she came by herself because anybody who's going to a party by themselves like 
you missing a screw. Like there must be a screw missing somewhere in your head for you to be going to a day party by yourself. That's weird. Let's be let's just be honest. Let's just be clear. It's weird, okay? But she came up to me and she was complimenting my outfit and stuff. So I was like, oh, you're really nice or whatever. She didn't bring up the fact that I was a YouTuber or anything like that. So I assumed and I'm pretty sure she doesn't know that I do YouTube. She was just basically complimenting me just to compliment me. So she was like, oh, I like your hair. I didn't even know these were called passion twists, bitch. I had no clue. But these are apparently passion twists. She said, I like your passion twists. She said, I like your outfit, I like your shoes. Oh, you looking cute. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, thank you. At first I thought she was hitting on me, but then she like made it clear that she was a hit on me. She was like, yeah, I'm not trying to hit on you. I don't want you to think I'm trying to hit on you. Blah, blah, blah. But anyways, we're talking a little bit over the, the, the music. She talking in my ear because I can't really hear her or whatever. And she basically tells me I came here by myself. You know, I'm just trying to get some fresh air, trying to get drunk. Blah, 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 blah. I came by myself because my girls couldn't make it. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. So I don't remember exactly what she said, but... She was insinuating that she wanted to stay with me and my friends. I don't have a problem with that. Why would I have a problem with that? You want to have fun? You want to turn up? Come turn up with me. That's fine. As long as you're not drinking our bottles. Because you got to pay for that. We all pitched in. You got to pitch in too. There you can have a shot or two. But you're not just going to come up in our section drinking our shit. Like, like, like this is a sponsorship or something, bitch. This ain't follow. <laughs> You need to pay up. We need the cash. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, you could come stay with us. Like, let's party. It's fine. Everything's good. Everything's cool. She tried to take a shot. I said, oh, <laughs> you know, you can chill with us or whatever, but you're going to have to at least $20 if you want a shot or two because we all pitched in. I can't just have you drinking. You know what I'm saying? She had no problem with that. So when she didn't have no problem with paying me, she gave me $30 and I gave her a few shots. I was like, you cool, because normally someone would either be like, oh, that's rude, I can't get a, I can't get a shot because I didn't pitch, or wow, like, y'all really gonna ask me for money or something like that. She was cool with it. She was like, yeah, no problem, I understand 100%. She took out her purse, she gave me $30, I was like, okay, here's two shots. That's all you gonna get though. So what's up, girl? I'm talking to my friends or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, as long as you're around us, you'll feel comfortable, you know? I could imagine you coming to a party by yourself and feeling mad uncomfortable, so as long as you're around us, like, you know what I mean? So anyways, we're partying or whatever. She pulls me aside again, and she points out this guy who's like, okay, where we are, we're kind of standing up on somewhat of a ledge. So we could see everyone from like a bird's eye view. So she points at this one guy, and she's like, ooh, that's why I'm here, girl. That's the whole reason I'm here. So I'm like, oh, that's how you came by yourself. Because you don't plan to leave alone. Ew, I hear you. Okay, bitch, do what you gotta do. She goes on to say, that um, whoever this guy is, I don't know who he is and I've seen him in my life, but apparently she likes him. She said that on Twitter, he was the one promoting this party and she been trying to get in them draws or whatever. So I was like, <laughs> all right, I support it. <laughs> and she basically said that um, before she came here, one of the tweets that he tweeted says something along the lines of, um, you know when they, they put on Twitter something that says like, uh, not scopa tu mana, but like, they ask you a question. So the question was, what is something that's not sexual that turns you on? Okay, so answers would be like, a man driving, or a woman with nice feet, or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So she said that he quoted a tweet like that and said, women who blow bubbles with their bubble gum, like you're chewing gum and you blow bubbles, that's what, that's something that's not sexual that turns them on. So she's like, girl, you got a gun? I was like, I don't, but I'm gonna ask for you. Yo, you got a gun? My homegirl had a gun. Y'all, this is stupid. I'm telling you from right now, it's dumb. So my girl gives me a gum and I give it to this girl. All now, I don't know her name. Up to this very moment in life right now, I have no clue who she is, what her name is, her Instagram, her Twitter. I don't know her. I don't know her. She was just very nice to me and she wanted to spend time. She was by herself. I would want someone to include me in their group of friends if I went somewhere by myself, but I wouldn't go anywhere by myself. But just in case I happened to, I would like someone to include me in their friend group. You know what I'm saying? So I had no problem with that, but I still don't know her name. So anyways, I give her the gum. She popped the gum, right? And she chewing, she chewing or whatever. And she turns to me, she's like, bitch, I don't know how to blow no damn bubbles. I was like, bitch, I can't teach you in two minutes, so you better figure it out. If you're trying to turn him on, apparently, y'all taking notes from people's Twitter to get their attention. 
and do what I do, bitch. So she comes off the ledge, she goes talks to him or whatever. And honestly, she's a pretty girl. It's not like it would be hard for her to pull a guy or something, but she was a really pretty girl or whatever. He was a good looking guy, they looked like a good couple. He was a little bit taller than her, like it looked good. They look good together, okay? So I was like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, what was that? She ends up bringing him near our booth. You know, she knew better than to bring him actually up in there, but she was near the booth or whatever. I see her chewing the gum, but she ain't blowing the bubbles yet. You know what I'm saying? She's not blowing the bubbles. She comes up to me and she's like, can you sit in our booth? And in my head, I'm like, our booth? Bitch, you only pitched $30. All you getting is three shots. But um, as long as he's not drinking any of our liquor, he can surely stand up right here. That's fine. So I like that she asked permission to because that just shows that you respect me. And if you respect me, I'm gonna respect you. So now we got a mutual ground, you feel what I'm saying? So anyways, homeboy's standing up beside her now and they're chit-chatting and I see they like, you know, getting they flirt on or whatever. So now I'm minding my business. I'm talking to my girls, they just standing over there, whatever, whatever. So I think all this is my fault. I think that everything that happened that I'm about to tell you is my fault because if I didn't open up my big ass mouth, Ain't none of this would have happened. Nothing, nothing I'm about to say would have happened. So I don't know why I talk so damn much, but she's talking to him and I tapped on the shoulder. You know, I got a little more shots in me or whatever, a few more mimosas or whatever. So I'm a little tipsy, you know what I'm saying? I want to see something happen. I want to see a kiss or something, you know what I'm saying? I want to know that when I go home, I was a part of your love story, you know what I'm saying? So I tapped on her and I said, Girl, you ain't blow a bubble yet. You know what you need to do. You better blow that bubble. She turned to me again. She's like, "You, I just I already told you, bitch. I don't know how to blow bubbles. So what, what am I supposed to do? I said, bitch, you better try. You better try. <laughs> if I didn't say that, what I'm about to tell you would not have happened. Because she would have forgot to blow the damn bubble. But to me, you brought up his tweet. So I'm thinking in my head, the whole reason you asked homegirl for a gun was to blow the bubble and see how he reacted or whatever. Even though in my head, I'm thinking in my head like, if I tweet today, guys who blow bubbles are sexy, and then tomorrow comes and a guy comes to in front of me and blows a bubble, I'm gonna be like, you stalking my shit because I just tweeted that. Like, what you, you really stalking my shit. Like, what is you doing? But to each his own, if you want him to know that you stalking his Twitter, that's all on you, girl. That's all on you, it's fine. It's, do what you gotta do. So anyway, I kinda prop myself this way cause I wanted to just see her blow the bubble and see his reaction because if you tweet that, that must mean that like you really like girls who blow bubbles, I guess. I wanna just wanted to see his reaction or what he would do or if he would call it out like, oh, you was on my Twitter. So I'm watching or whatever. Mind you again, we're on a ledge. Where the booth is, we're on a ledge. So there are people who are under us who have nothing to do with our booth. They are just partying, okay? So she's talking to him, whatever, chewing her gum or whatever. This bitch tried to blow a bubble. She tried to blow a bubble and her chewed up gum flew out of her. Like she really didn't know how to blow a bubble, y'all. She really had no clue how to blow a bubble. I wish I had gum right now so I could show you exactly what happened. But she tried to blow the bubble and it went right out of her mouth, bitch. Ew. <laughs> but not only did it fly out of her mouth, it flew out of her mouth into some girl's hair. Some random bitch. Don't know her either. She just minded her business and now homegirl's gum is in her hair. And I guess she spit it really, really hard because first of all, well then again, I wear weave. I was about to say, if someone threw spit gum in my hair, I would not feel it. But like when I'm wearing a weave or my braids, like I got cornrows under that, so I would not realize. But I mean, her hair was natural. So I guess when she spit it out, boop, it hit her in the back of her head. She felt that shit. Like it was a, a very soft bullet or something because it flew out her mouth like phew, like, if, if everyone was silent, you'd hear the wind go from the gun. Hit her on the back of the head. Homegirl down there doesn't know what hit her. She just felt something. You know what I'm saying? Her hair was also up, so maybe that's why. Because her hair was slipped back up into a, into a, um, a bun. But, right? And mind you, it's not like the movies where someone spits gum in your hair and now it's like, Oh my gosh, there's gum. Oh my gosh, it's sticky. Like, it hit the back of her head and it fell down. It didn't stick to her head. You feel what I'm saying? So she turned around like, what was that? Now, I think homegirl was really, really, really embarrassed. So she did the following, okay? And this is why the story's stupid. So, boop, it hits her in the back of the head. Homegirl turns around like, what was that? She wasn't rude. She wasn't loud. Nothing. I feel like homegirl who, was, who I invited to the booth was just embarrassed. 
So homegirl's like, yeah, I spit gum in your hair, so what? So what? I spit gum in your hair, so what? You're gonna do something? You're gonna do something? Like going in on this girl. This girl didn't do nothing. She was just sitting there. She even do nothing. She even do nothing. She didn't do nothing. She even do nothing. She didn't even do nothing. She even do nothing. She didn't even do nothing. She didn't even do nothing. She even do nothing. She even do nothing. She didn't even do nothing. Like for real, she didn't do anything. She was standing there minding her business. Now homegirl wanna beef with her for what reason? And I see the guy looking at her like, what are you doing? Now she now she wanna cross the line. Now she talking about, why are you so close to our booth for? Why are you so close to our booth? Move up, move up. I was like, no, 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 no. I did not just invite this girl over to my and my friend's booth for you to call it our booth because you gave us $30. Now, simmer down. Just simmer down, homie, simmer down. I was, I was utterly shocked. I was like, you out here bullying this poor girl who did nothing because you tried to blow a bubble and it flew out your mouth like a, like a bullet? And now you wanna beef with her? Not on my watch. I said, hold up, you need to calm down, first of all. First of all, baby girl, because she didn't do nothing. I literally said this to her. I said, she didn't do nothing. The gum flew out your mouth. All you gotta say is sorry. All you have to say is excuse me. I do not, I do not tolerate. Listen, if someone deserves to get cussed, that's different from someone who did absolutely nothing and you're cussing them because you're embarrassed. You're not gonna embarrass her because you're embarrassed that you blew the gum in her hair. She didn't do anything, she's the victim. Say sorry. There should be nothing else to it. Say, excuse me, sorry, my bad, something. There's so many words you could use to say, I'm sorry. What is you doing? So I told her, I'm like, you're gonna have to leave. Like, for, you're gonna have to go. You're not gonna be yelling at this girl and making everyone who's watching you yell at her with your head bobbing like this think that you're my friend. You're not, so you, and your boy right here can get down. Toodaloo. Oh, and before you go, I said this. Oh, before you go, took out my wallet, gave her the $30 right back. I said, you can have them shots. You can have them. Bye. Toodles. See you later. Her and homeboy stepped down off the booth when I asked him to. I thought she was going to try and fight me, but I had my bitches with me. So I was like, I ain't even scared. You trying to... You, you wanna you wanna try and swing at me? All my bitches is on your ass. My bitches is shooters. So what? Come try it. I dare you. I got pepper spray on deck. I don't even know how I got in the club because it's illegal in Canada, but bitches here with me. Try me. Try. 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 So anyways, they step off. The guy that she was trying to flirt with literally walks off way into a corner and she's standing there still arguing with this poor girl who did absolutely nothing. The girl isn't even saying anything back to her. She's just yelling like, you're so close to the booth. Why are you so close to the booth? You need to move up. You need to move up. Out of nowhere, this girl swings on the girl who's saying nothing. It's like she's so embarrassed that one, she spit her gum in this girl's hair by accident, and two, this girl did nothing. Three, this girl's saying nothing. She's just looking at her like she's crazy, like, like what? That's how she's looking at her like, what is going on? So I don't know where she swings at the girl who's saying nothing, okay? I don't know if she's drunk, inebriated, under the influence or something, but she completely missed. She said, I was like, how? You're so close to her face and you just missed the punch? Bitch, go home. It's time to get go home. Go to bed, you need a nap, something, some night. Well, I don't know, but you need to go to bed right now. I didn't notice that the girl who was saying nothing was standing beside this tall guy who I guess is either her friend or her boyfriend. I can't make assumptions. I don't know who he is to her. But he pushed her behind him and stood up straight and was like, what the f is wrong with you? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? I was sitting back sipping on my mimosas like, listen, that's not my friend. I want everyone to know that's not my friend. She crazy. That's why she came to the club by herself. That's why she came to this party by herself, on her own, on her dolo, on the solo. Like, she's not my friend. I don't know her from nowhere. Please, I need this to be known. Can I, can I have the mic, DJ? DJ, can I have the mic so I can tell the crowd that I don't know this hoe? I don't know her. Because now I'm feeling embarrassed because everyone's yelling at her and she was up in my booth. I don't know her. Y'all, I don't know her. Now she's trying to fight this tall guy. First of all, you are like five foot flat and he's like six, seven. You, you better sit down. 
And thankfully, security came and escorted her out, okay? I don't understand why when people are being escorted out of the club, why they want to kick their legs and move their feet. Like, that's going to... Like, the security guard's going to stop and be like, you know what? Since you're kicking your legs and swinging your feet and moving your arms around, you can stay. Yeah, it's fine. You can stay. Security's not going to say that. Go home. You've been escorted out. Please exit the premises. Like, why are we arguing about Why are you trying to stay? For what? Now you look st more stupid than you look... You you just dumb. You just look stupid. You are stupid. You came here by yourself. It's just a mess. We, we need to... That's it. That's all. You need to go. So now she gone or whatever. I felt like I needed to talk to this girl and explain to her that I didn't know her, okay? So I went up to her. And I was like, I just want you to know I didn't know her. I didn't know her from anywhere. She's not my friend. I did not, I don't condone anything that she just did to you. You did absolutely nothing wrong. And I don't want you to think that I have any association with her because that's not who I am. I'm not that type of person. I do not be for people for no reason. She was obviously embarrassed and you did absolutely nothing wrong, okay? She proceeds to tell me the only reason she was so close to our booth, which she wasn't so close to our booth, that's an area for anyone to stand. You can stand there if you want to, but she said the reason why she's so close to our booth is because she watched my video. So on top of everything, you try to fight one of my subscribers, bitch. I should have, I should have, I should have. Are you dumb? So when she said that now, now I gotta buy you some Smirnoff Ices. I need to buy all you and your friends Smirnoff Ices because I don't want you to think I'm anything like her. So she was there with the guy. I don't know if that was her boyfriend or not. And another girl. I bought them all Smirnoff Ices. I bought them all shots. We all stayed in the booth. I invited them up in the booth. We partied. And homegirl somewhere at home crying because she ain't get... The little dingling she came here for because she couldn't blow a bubble. Is that not the dumbest story time you ever heard in your life? It's stupid. What? Anyways, the subscriber who she tried to beef with, her name is Emily. Shout outs to you, Emily. I follow her on Instagram now. I told her I'm gonna make the story time. Y'all just know that Emily didn't do nothing. She didn't do nothing to nobody, never, not once, okay? And if I had known she was a subscriber, I would've went even harder for her, period. Cause what is you doing? She didn't do nothing. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's the story, okay? I promised Emily I would tell it. I needed to tell it before it got still in my mind. There you go. Make sure you guys follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram, all that jazz in the description box down below. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, I said, I said, and you better be listening that I'm going to be telling secret story times this week. Probably one tomorrow. I'm going to be talking about the psychic girl from my high school, story times that are a little bit too personal for YouTube, and things I just never really wanted to put out there on the internet. I'm going to be telling them on you now. Go watch the last video to get up to date with how you can watch those. A lot of you guys were upset because you said the time difference and um, you have school or work and stuff like that so you wouldn't be able to watch. I'm letting you guys know that the video will be up for 24 hours on you now so you can check it out even if I'm not live. But it's a lot more fun when I am live because you get to interact with me, talk to me, chat with me through live screen. Live screen? Live stream, okay? If you have no clue what I'm talking about, watch the last video called um, All the Story Times I Didn't Upload. Something like that. Go check that video out and you'll be up to date. It's, everything's in the description box in that video, so go check it out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And that was enough, okay? Follow me on Instagram. If I get another DM of someone asking me for advice or anything like that, and you not following me, I'm deactivating my shit. Because it's getting on my damn nerves. Follow me on Instagram. You heard me? You heard? Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much, guys. Thank you. Love you guys so much. Don't gotta tell you twice, and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye, guys.